guys, welcome back to New Zealand. We've had a couple of days of rain, a couple of days of fairly steady, consistent rain. This afternoon, it started to break up. The clouds are breaking a little bit, and there's a lot more definition in the clouds. Yesterday and this morning, it was just blanket cloud and rain. This afternoon, it's starting to look a bit more interesting. Uh, so I'll just come down to the local, local beach, Faranaki Beach, just outside Napier. Just get a few shots. There's quite a big surf going on. I'm getting a few shots, and then I'm going to head up to uh, carry on up the road and go to Lake Tatera. Hopefully, get a couple of nice long exposure shots over Lake Tatera with a bit of, uh, bit of these moody, moving moody clouds as the main feature. Uh, we'll just see how that goes. It's just an excuse to get out of the house, and uh, you know, so what? It's a bit miserable. Bugger it. I don't have to be. I've just come a little bit further down the coast. This is a little coastal settlement called Tangao. And it's uh, not too far from Napier, but it's a beautiful little drive and uh, awesome views out there. As you can see, the sea's pumping away nicely. The photographs I was taking earlier, if you can see just over my shoulder there, that is Flat Rock at Tongo. It's quite a popular little fishing destination. Uh, a lot of anglers go out there and uh, a little bit of surf casting, beach casting. That was the, the area I was photographing from further along the beach there, down at Ferenaki. Uh, makes a nice little backdrop. I just thought I'd come up here and just try and get a few closer shots of uh, Flat Rock, see how they work out. And for anybody travelling New Zealand, from time to time you'll come across fences along the side of the roads, along the side of the beaches, wherever really. And uh, for some reason, a lot of fences are covered in old trainers and shoes and things like that. Don't know where it started from, don't know why, but it's just like a, it's a Kiwi thing to do. If you've got an old pair of trainers, old pair of sneakers, whatever, you don't want them anymore, don't throw them away, just time to a fence. Go figure, no idea. Uh, the best one I saw actually was uh, a good few years ago in Hamawana, which is right out on the coast there beyond, beyond Napier. Uh, beautiful little settlement, uh, but they had one of these shoe fences or trainer fences, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but theirs was actually a bra fence. So all these, uh, this, this fence line was just covered in, in bras of all different shapes, sizes, Some lacy ones, big supportive ones. Hey mate, honestly, what can I say? Uh, strange but true. So I decided to take a bit of a walk around. I've never been out to Flat Rock. And I don't really, to be honest, I don't think I want to make it today. Uh, I don't entirely know for sure if this is, it is a track, obviously. How long it's been here and what sort of condition it's in, anybody's guess. The other, the other alternative to get down to Flat Rock, I would guess, is along the foreshore there. Sort of climb around those rocks a bit gingerly and uh, see how that goes. So I'll, I'll kind of push on here for a while and just see where this track leads me. If anyway, if it does, all good. If it doesn't, yeah, well, whatever. So the first bit of the track is a little bit of a track and uh, a lot of washed out track. It's quite slippy in places. Obviously the rain we've had the last few days, it's, uh, it's not helped matters, but it's pretty slippy and uh, it's got bust knees and bloody damaged cameras written all over it. But luckily I've survived so far. Uh, just behind me is where the track ends. So now I'm guessing it's sort of uh, scramble over some rocks. Should be pretty fun. Don't know if the side's coming in or out. I really should have checked that. Hoping it's going out. Time will tell. Two weeks back we had a big old storm just out on the coast here. And it looks like there's a big pack. A big pack of timber being washed out. If anybody's in need of any timber, a bit of beach combing. There you go, mate. You've got a bit of a climb back with it and a bit of a uh, bit of a long haul back.
absolutely beautiful, well worth the climb. It's not that bad, it's not that bad a walk. It's a little bit slippy, a little bit ruggedy in places, but shit just adds to it. But what a stunning little cove this is, unbelievable. Heaps of potential for sunrises, not so much sunsets because the sunset will set over the hills there. Uh, so unless there's any decent colour in the skies out to sea, I reckon your best chance is going to be uh, sunrises. But what an absolutely stunning little location. And only probably 15 minutes drive, 20 minutes drive from home. Can't fault this. This is Flat Rock. I'm absolutely loving it. What a stunning place. A bit wild and woolly out there. Every now and then we get a cracking wave that comes crashing right over. And I'm going to get the camera out now and uh, try and get a few shots. times today and we'll say it again this has been insane the weather when I set off today was crap I mean totally crap and I had no idea what I was gonna get I was gonna go up to Lake Tatera just to get a few sort of uh, little moody cloudy shots but I pulled up at Tongoyo Beach got a, uh, Faranaki Beach pulled up at Faranaki Beach I pulled up at Faranaki Beach got a few, uh, few nice sort of uh, wavy shots and then I made my way here to Tongoyo Beach from Tongo Beach, carried on to Flat Rock. And I've got to be honest with you, it is now my favorite location. Absolutely incredible. The power of the waves is just crazy. We had a big old, big ass, we had a big ass storm that's gone through. Get a lot of rain the last few days. That's going off to the east now, and uh, this is what's left of it. And it's absolutely stunning. This is life on the edge. And I mean, literally, this is life on the edge. It is. Words can't describe it. Love it. Epic. Cheers, guys. I'm going to sign out now because uh, I've got a long walk back and uh, I'm starving, to be fair. I am absolutely starving. No sandwiches today. Place. absolutely stunning place so close to home never been here before 15 years I've been here lazy ass why the hell I got my backside into gear and got myself down here but I'm here now not for the last time either absolutely wow so much potential all the little bays I've walked through I've not even got to Stingray Bay I thought I was in Stingray Bay ages ago I'm not apparently Stingray Bay is the other side of that there rock there I'd like to do it today but I'm to be honest I'm running out of time I've got to kind of get back uh, which I'm that's one of the things I'm gutted about I could spend all day here I could spend all night I could camp here I really could 
Jeez. I have to be a bit careful though. But... Now I'm kicking myself. I'm annoyed. Do you want to know why I'm annoyed? I'll tell you why I'm annoyed. I ran out of batteries for the phone and for the camera. Gutted, absolutely gutted. As I'm sort of walking away, five or six surfer, surfers came up and they were going to get out in the big waves, big chop and, and give it some. I managed to get a little bit of footage, but unfortunately, my camera batteries, ah, so annoyed, so annoyed. It's one for the future. That place, I'm going back without a shadow of a doubt. Absolutely loved it. Hope you've enjoyed this, guys. Thank you.